Hi, my name is Sarthik Sinha and I'm a product specialist with EM. Don't you hate it when you have to deal with a lot of wires, especially with the push button switches? Let me introduce you to Siemens Solution with Profinet push button switches. From the back, the Profinet switch, it's got a, a base module and it's got different terminal modules. Now this, in this case, is a safety module and it's connected using a Profinet cable that runs to the PLC. So in all, if we look at one individual switch, it's gonna comprise of an actuator, a holder, and a terminal module. The terminal module can be easily removed using a screwdriver. Let me show you how easy it is. There's a notch down here. So just put the screwdriver on there and apply some pressure and it comes out. Now we put it back. There's a click sound that confirms that the terminal module has actually attached itself to the holder. As you can see, this is the project we created for you. It's got a 1518 failsafe CPU and the command switch. We've got a Profinet connection that's running from the PLC to the Profinet switch. Adding the Profinet switch is really easy. The best way to do it is use TIA as your helper. Go, on, go to online and we scroll down to hardware detection. Select the option that says IO devices. The PGPC interface needs to be Profinet IE and you wanna make sure that the network interface card is right and hit start search. As you can see, the search has ended and it's found that a Profinet device name that's CS underscore one is accessible. Hit the checkbox and hit add devices. It gives you a message that says hardware detection was successful. Hit OK. Now this is the exact same thing what we have here. I just wanted to show you how you can easily add a device. Let's delete this. Now if we drill down on the Profinet switch, we go to device view and over here we can see the, the main module. This is the interface module and individual terminal modules. We've already downloaded this program for you to the PLC, but let's try again once more. And the download is complete. In the main safety block, let's go online and see what happens. Once we go online, as soon as I press the e-stop button, the connection breaks and the acknowledgement required now becomes false. That was true before. Now when I release the e-stop button, it goes back to true, but the temp e-stop is still false. Now this signal needs to be acknowledged. I press the acknowledgement button now. And once that's true, it goes back to its original state. We just saw how easy it is to connect the Profinet switches together and how easy it is to configure it on TIA. The Profinet switches would greatly reduce your wirings and it, it simplifies the overall connection. Well folks, that was it about the Profinet switches. On behalf of e &M, I would like to thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. If you have a similar application and have any questions, please reach out to insightsales at enm.com. This is Sarvjeet Sinha, your Siemens product specialist. See you next time.